Okay, here we are for our collective reading and psychic readings, Sunday, Mondays. And we have a total, total solar eclipse. No, it's coming up. We have a partial eclipse happening in two days on the full moon. Has it been intense or what? Oh, yes, it has. <laughs> it definitely has been. So let me share this as always, and then I will be presently doing a collective reading and then going to jump into psychic readings. So first of all, let me know if you've been feeling the intensity of this full moon eclipse coming up because it has been very intense here. <laughs> very intense. Okay. Just going to share this in all the places. Okay, that one. Hello, hello, hello. All right, definitely been intense times, that's for sure. Uh, okay, just making sure I share this in the right places. Yep. Hello. Hi. Hello, hello, hi. Hi, welcome, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're tuning in and watching this. I'm just going to share this in one more place. And then we'll jump into our collective readings. Okay, perfect. And I can jump back, pull up your comments and we'd be good to go. Okay, awesome. So I... Yeah, we've got our full moon. So if you guys want to join the full moon ceremony, we're doing a full moon ceremony. And if you join this full moon ceremony, uh, you also get access to the new moon ceremony. So I, I don't usually hold full moon and new moon, but because it's like a partial eclipse and then it's a total solar eclipse, I'm going to definitely hold <laughs> both ceremonies. So if you join for our full moon ceremony on Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, depending on where you are in the world, you get access to the new moon ceremony as well. So if you'd like... The details for that just comment moon below and i'll send you the details to join us for that so this collective reading as i've been saying like you know it's been really intense eclipse etc um i was actually drawn to using this animal oracle well the animal anim, anim, animal magic i want to say animal oracle it's not it's animal magic transference healing um it's very potent decks it has really strong messages um, the animals are coming through really strongly for this collective reading today. Um, the animals are speaking, actually. I literally just saw a post before I jumped online as well, um, jumped on this live stream, and animals are speaking through someone else's post. Um, so maybe it's time to give the animal products a break. Um, the post that I just saw was about pork and ingestion of pork and whatever, and I'm like, okay. Um, but the animal that was coming through really strongly before I even got on this live stream was um, the kookaburra. And the kookaburra is connected to, let me get it right, garnet. <laughs> it's connected to garnet in the liquid crystal. So each liquid crystal has an animal totem. And the kookaburra is the garnet, which is manifestation of purpose. Um, so I'm actually going to read... Garnet's message. So, okay, yep, because the, the collective message is that now's the time to not delay your purpose anymore. And that could be like said at any time, really. But ultimately, with the eclipses right now and the potency of where we're at in the trajectory of human consciousness of this 2020 to 2030 portal, like your purpose is required, you working on your purpose is required, I want to say for the correct trajectory 
of human consciousness. Now, is there a correct path? You guys know that I don't predict the future. I don't do psychic readings to predict your future. Like, because there's no future that's set in stone. There is a, a myriad of timelines that we could definitely project onto, but it really depends on to what choices you and all humans make in any given day. And that's always constantly changing. Like it, it's never set in stone. And it really depends on what you're choosing on a day-to-day -day basis and then what the collective is choosing on a day-to-day -day basis. So the Kookaburra manifestation of purpose was really making itself known. Um, so I'm just going to pull cards from the animal magic today for the collective conscious reading, collective consciousness reading. Okay, so we have the crocodile. We have the crane, which is in balance. Interesting. And we have the echidna. So lots of Australian animals coming through today. Um, and the bat. So the bat is an obvious death rebirth cycle. Kind of looks like it's holding a full moon. <laughs> the full moon ceremony in today's time. Um, so hello, everybody. I'm seeing some people I haven't seen for a long time. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So death rebirth really significant given the eclipse on Wednesday and then in two weeks time like we're right in eclipse season you guys might have seen that I've been sharing um so a couple of years ago I did a really in-depth training on the eclipses and how they affect you depending on what which stage of your life you're in which stage of consciousness you're in what's going on for you is how it will affect you if you haven't seen that it's a free training just comment eclipse and i'll send you that training so you can help support yourself over these next few weeks because it's really intense it brings up a lot of stuff to review to look over from the past it's almost like a mercury retrograde on steroids in a way but it's also a really like peeling back the veil of who you've been hiding behind and stepping into your power and your purpose and hence why this garnet is really coming through as well with the kookaburra um let me just have a look so i'm going to read you the activation from garnet and i'm just going to show you the the crystal card for that with the activation as well um so there's something that you've been um i want to say putting off and it's really important to not put this off anymore. Like if we look at how fast this year has gone and sure every year seems to go fast in a way, but it's kind of like, where are you really dedicating your time, especially between now and the end of the year? So we have the Kookaburra Garnet. So the manifestation of purpose, the master Krista Diva, Galendalel, Galen, Galendel. Welcome to my warm embrace. Welcome to my embrace. I am the fire of Ra, embraced by the earth. An ancient one. You and I have stood as one in times past. On the journey back to, what, to that which you are, I have come to guide you in the sacred space of inner strengths, the temple of your personal gifts. In my present, cast the wheels of others aside. Breathe in my green ray of love and black light of truth. Let my red fires encourage and nurture you into activation. Let your gifts come forth in a creative manner and you will find new paths to fulfill your purpose and gently awaken the serpent to its journey upward. Using the active stabilized heart as a filter we will now physically manifest a divine legacy, which will define the commitment to self that is required of you within the only perception that is valid, your own. That is so potent. The only perception that is valid is your own. Now, I have said for a long time, I said for a long time that when every single per person is on their own unique purpose, everything works in symbiosis. And that is why your own perception of what is right for you and what you're doing in your life and your purpose is how we bring together the future where we're all in that like nature, right? Um, I feel like right now it's not really flowing. It's a little bit distorted. Yeah, it's a bit static. 
and it's really finding its ground. Hence why right now it's really important for you to choose your purpose, to dedicate your purpose. Like this next six weeks, the next four weeks, six weeks with the, the eclipse peeling back the veil, you're being shown who you are. You are really being shown who you are. The random conversations you have with people, the people that reach out to you for help, like you're being shown your path. If you can't figure it out for yourself, look what the universe is like dishing up to you. Like, hello, <laughs> I'm bringing it right to your perception of awareness to see who you are. The mirror is being shown to you. Pay attention. This is a really strong message that your purpose is calling you. I know I'm the life purpose queen. I know it's what I always talk about, but I don't always have this message each week. It's not the same message each week. Sometimes it is, but today it's really strong. Like your purpose for the next four to six weeks is like, pull back the veil. Like there is no doubt that this is what you're supposed to do. There is no doubt that this is who you are. There is no doubt that the people coming to you are not a coincidence. Like you are being shown through synchronistic means. If you're not getting it yourself, like the universe is like, hello, like whacking in your ear in the face, like, hello, this is what you're meant to do. Pay attention. Garnett. I am the fire of Ra embraced by the earth an ancient one. You and I have stood in times past. Right now, the universe is giving you a mirror of everything that you've done and everything you are to do, that you know how to do this and you're being shown the path. You're being shown the way. Pay attention, especially over these next four to six weeks. Now, the crocodile I know and work with is about boundaries, but I'm just going to have a look in um, the book just to see if there's any messages that jump out. We've got the full moon. Is it a full moon or is it a sun? Um, and the, what is it? The pyramid. Um, so yeah, so the, and it's in the past, right? For the collective, we've got crocodile, crane, and echidna. It's technically in the past. You need to set boundaries to be able to work on your purpose. Otherwise everything will become more important and you'll just never get it done. You have to prioritize your purpose as the priority every day. If you're going to sleep and waking up in the night, there's something that you're not working on. If you can't go to sleep, there's something that you're not working on. Um, if you've got like agitation or you're feeling frustrated or feeling like you don't have enough time in the day, it's because you're not working on your purpose during the day. Um, okay, so crocodile... So, um, crocodile magic supports you to resonate archetypal powers. These inherited patterns of personal and universal significance lurk within the deepest depths of your unconscious and are projected into your dreams, imagination, and behavior. They are passed through human lineages via the mind or unconscious uh, and expressed through mythology, religion, religion, alchemy, and dreams. And I want to say, and the projections that are like in your face, <laughs> as I just was saying, right? So boundaries to be able to work on what you're working on. But then also like, it, it's almost like at this time, you're in a dream. It's almost like at this time, reality is actually a dream. And they're all projections of your subconscious that is trying to get your attention about your path. Pay attention. <laughs> Pay attention. Okay. <laughs> Um, so the crane it was so interesting because the crane's right next door it's in the book. I just noticed the yin yang. So the crane is all about balance. Now, when we're talking about balance on a spiritual, um, perspective, it is really about your own balance. Um, so for example, I can work for weeks and then take a break rather than like every, every weekend, take a break. Um, it's about your balance. So yeah. Okay. And you may be feeling the need to break through the limitations of the mind and find solutions to existing concerns. You could also be feeling unable to trust your intuition or impatient and unable to understand the universal signs revealing themselves to you through divine synchronicity. What have I just been saying to you? <laughs> so you don't need to be confused anymore. You don't need to doubt your intuition anymore because I just told you <laughs> what's happening. You could also be feeling unable to trust intuition or impatient or unable to understand the universal signs revealing themselves to you through divine synchronicity. What did I just say? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm like, actually, the universe is showing you through synchronistic means what you are to do. So pay attention. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my God. You might be frightened of changes occurring around you or overwhelmed by the forces of destiny at work. Um, and it's kind of like, 
Um, as I've been saying, I think I've been saying it for the past couple of weeks. Hello, everyone joining in. Um, you know, if like changes are going to happen, you're either going to do it yourself or it's going to be forced upon you. So which one are you, you going to take action? You're going to take your power back and you're going to do it. Um, you know, set the boundaries, take your power back, just do it. Or are you going to be forced into it, which we know is never really the nicest path, <laughs> path right? So change happens all the time. Um, and look, it says here about this as well. Death, rebirth, which the bat overlying card is definitely about death, rebirth. Same with eclipses. And I'm also getting the message to think back to last eclipse, which was six months ago. Uh, is that like March, April, May around that time? Um, what was going on? Because that's going to be sort of dredged up again. Um, it, and I want to say you need to trust yourself. I know the crane is saying that you're unable to, but I might know you, you can. Like I've just given you that like... Um, I guess the mirror, everything in reality is actually showing you what you're meant to do. Yeah. And I'm hearing the faster you act on that, the faster everything like unfolds for you. Like the faster that flow of the balance continues to flow rather than being stuck. Yeah. Um, so here the crane gives you insight into the reasons and circumstances behind a transparent shift of death and rebirth. It reveals the spiritual meaning behind each transitional time of change, creating opportunities for enlightenment. So exactly what I just said, if you look at every interaction over the next four to six weeks, like I said, if you imagine yourself just being in a dream and not reality, of course, still tend to your responsibility, but you get what I mean. If you look at every single interaction over this next four to six weeks as a divine mirror to what you're doing and where you're being guided to go and you pay attention and you act on those things, um, you know, it's like the manifestation of your purpose. It's kind of like you're being shown through deep um, unconscious subconscious projections into your reality about what you're meant to do. Really, really strong. Yeah, really, really strong message. So the echidna as well is the future card. Um, as I said, lots of Australian animals here. So maybe there's a connection to Australia for you specifically. So echidna is compassion. Oops. Um, echidna is compassion. Excuse me. Um, echidna enables you to see and feel clearly. Well, how about that, right? <laughs> to master the emotions being triggered in a current situation. Oh, we're gonna talk about shadows and mirrors and triggers and projections and subconscious projections into reality. Oh, hello. <laughs> Are you paying attention now? This is the future card. <laughs> Um, okay, echidna enables you to see and feel clearly and to master the emotions being triggered by a current situation. It releases hurt and anger so you can go into the deeper chambers of the heart and trust more freely. So if you get stuck in the next couple of weeks, I want you to save this, send this live stream to yourself somehow and come back to this message and rewatch it. You're being shown through unconscious, subconscious projections and divine synchronicity ways forward to navigate your reality and where you're being like in the trajectory of your life path, of your purpose, of supporting humanity to work in divine symbiosis flow together, um, awakening the consciousness of humanity together, you're being shown different pieces. So um, to see and feel clearly, to master the emotions being triggered by a current situation, it releases hurt and anger so you can go into the deeper changes of your heart and trust chambers of your heart and trust more freely, which as I said, when you look at everything as a projection and a mirror, you're going to be able to navigate it more from a higher perspective rather than like, oh, this is happening to me or they did this or they did that. If you're like ah, actually taking divine responsibility, which is divine step number eight in the 12 divine steps to awakening your life purpose, which if you're in the life purpose activation kit, you've got access to them. And um, so with the like the projection right from that, if you look at it from a shadow integration perspective, when stuff is happening on the external of your life, it is that you are integrating that aspect of your being and that it is sort of like pushed out of your conscious field, if you may, and subconscious field, and you've actually integrated it. Now, if you're still being triggered really deeply, obviously there's just more work to do. And so if you look at it like this, like um, the integration that still needs to happen, the, the healing that still needs to happen, right? So whatever is being projected at you, from you, <laughs> if you look at it like a mirror and go, ah, where do I need to clean this up in my life? Where Where is these veils being pulled back and showing me, but then I can also move forward knowing that this is a dream reality for the next six weeks, because Hannah said so, and if I just integrate my shadow, <laughs> I'll be good, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, guys, um, <laughs> the, um, what is it called? The, the scammers are out, so please don't get scammed. I won't hustle you. No one, no good psychic hassles you. We don't have to, you guys come to us. So just be mindful of people impersonating my account. They create new accounts. They've got photos. They steal all my photos. They look like me. They're not me. If you're ever unsure, send me a message. But if you just click on their profile, you'll see that um, they don't have many followers. They just, like, it looks weird. There's grammar errors all the time. Um, sometimes I have grammar errors, but not, not in the titles and stuff. Something's just off. They're hounding you. Just... Just, just block and delete and get on with the day. Yeah, don't give them any more energy. Okay. Talking about um, <laughs> triggers in the subconscious, right? All right. So is there anything else? Okay. So echidna, it connects you to the evolved emotions of unconditional love and compassion so you can sustain more faith and trust and deeper feelings of love for yourself and for others. Yeah. Talking about moving from healing through pain and trauma to healing through joy and love. It's really what we're moving into there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Accurate as always. Old patterns are resurfacing hard. Yes. This is what eclipses do. Mm -hmm. They bring up these huge, big, um, it's a, it's a pattern break time, but if we're not aware of it, we'll take it personally and just sort of fall down in a heap. But if we can look at it like the beautiful mirror that it is, um, and then we're able to, yeah, really move forward rather than stay in the cyclic cyclic cycles <laughs> okay so i'm going to move into individual readings now so if you're new here i'll just explain how it works so you can comment now and say yes please so when i say yes please you guys put in a yes please just put it in once so i've got a long list of yes pleases and then i intuitively scan through that list i'll pick somebody and then I'll read for somebody. And then once I finish reading for somebody, that closes off that section. And we're going to start a new section. And I'll ask for another yes, please. So you can put in another yes, please. I'll pick from that list and read and then close that off and we do it again. So a round of yes, pleases now. Um, if I don't get to you, um, if you listen carefully, there's usually a message for you because um, there's sometimes, most of the time there is, <laughs> it resonates. Um, and you just have to stay live to receive a reading. So I also have, um, I've also opened up some, I've been really crazy, <laughs> crazy in true trust your intuition, Hannah style. Um, I've opened up my three month, uh, psychic healing and acceleration program. Um, it's three months working with me on telegram. So voice message, text message, text me any time of day or night. We don't have to worry about scheduling calls. There's psychic readings in there. I usually charge five and a half grand for the three months with me. But last night in the whim of intuition, just like in true Hannah fashion, um, she's, she's freaking back. She's out of the dungeons and she's back. <laughs> so, um, it's nine ninety seven for three months to work with me. And I don't know how long I'm going to have this available because this usually fills up really quickly. <laughs> so if you'd like that, just comment acceleration below and I'll send you the details for that or probably three months because I've got my life purpose accelerator open as well. If you'd rather be in the inner circle and get everything that's accelerator. But if you want the three months, just type three months and I'll send you the details for that. Okay. So lots of crazy patterns releasing. So, and if you haven't watched my free training on the eclipses and how best to support yourself with it, there's three different sort of phases or stages that you'll be feeling over this eclipse season. Um, I did that a couple of years ago and it's really explanatory of where you're at and which stage and what you're actually processing. Um, so just comment eclipse below if you, um, if you haven't watched that yet and I can send you that as well. Okay. So who is this reading for? And yes, hello to all these beautiful people. I'm seeing beautiful people that I haven't seen for a long time on here. So hello, welcome, welcome back. Welcome, manifestation of purpose. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you very much, Kookaburra, for making your presence known. And all the other animals, especially being really strong on the animal front today. Okay, who is this for? Hmm. It is an awesome deal. <laughs> That's why it fills up really quickly. <laughs> so yes, if you'd like that, and it's like, you know, text message, voice message, psychic readings, ask me anything, healings, psychic development, relationship issues, whatever's going on for you, it's like the space to be in. 
Only if you want to heal and change your life, that is. <laughs> All right. All right. So this reading, full of alchemic transformation in this reading, is for through this yes, please list. Okay. So we have Daryl Lee. Daryl Lee, are you still here? All right, so Daryl Lee. So if you'd like the details for the three months working with me, just comment three months below. Or if you wanna jump in the inner circle, Life Purpose Accelerator is open and that's where you get everything, all my courses, more access to me rather than just voice and text message. But if you've never worked with me before, the three months is a really awesome place to feel what it's like to be in such a container and transform just from being there. So I'll just wait to see if Daryl Lee's still here before I read for her. There's big alchemic transformation in whoever this is for. Well, it's for Daryl Lee, but I wanted to see if she's here first. Yes, perfect, cool. I know there's a little bit of a delay there. Okay, so you've been taking time and space. The alchemy and the tranquility. When you take time for yourself, you alchemize what the issue is. See how it's beautiful and pink, loving, self, green. Oops, where are we? Sorry, camera's back front. So green, heart, pink, heart. Loving self alchemizes the darkest space. If you want to transform your life, love yourself more. If there's shit going on, love yourself more, <laughs> right? When you're deep in the dark depths is the most alchemic transformation that is. Remember, in the womb of darkness is where a baby is growing and born. And so we have love yourself more to transform. Now, I feel like you've been doing a lot of that for yourself. But I also feel like you've been almost, I want to say struggling to let yourself receive to the level that you're being asked to receive to. Um, in the past card, you've got another deck, you've got persistent drive. So it's like you haven't given up um, and you are like, it's almost like there's another card. Oh yeah. It says you have become complacent. So you've been continuing to do your thing and you've been seeing the dark depths in the dark depths. Yeah. The alchemic transformation, but now it's time now it's time to like just come up to the surface and you've got every step counts in the future. This is There is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. Now, yes, but also um, it's like it's time, to, it's time to come back up into the light and how we do that when you're just sort of like learning how to let yourself receive and not be the people pleaser and actually stay in the space where you're tending to yourself um, comes from one step at a time, one step at a time. It's almost like there's so much for you to do. See all the like wiggly things. There's so much for you to do. And you're like, it's almost like it stops you because there's so much to do. You don't know where to start. Just do the next thing. So a really awesome affirmation um, mantra, if you may, that I love. And it's got me to where I am today because there's always a million things to do. And the to-do list is like, there's another to-do list and there's another one and I'll just start another one today because <laughs> they all get done and whatever, they're just over there. But the thing is, is that I use the mantra, what is the next most aligned action that I need to take right now? Because your intuition knows the quickest, fastest way back to the light. Your intuition knows how to support you, to push you into the highest sequence, sequence of events, synchronicities of events that are going to support your purpose. What is the next most aligned action that I can take right now? So when I'm feeling overwhelmed or, you know, anxiety is kicking and I was like, oh my God, I don't know where to start or so much. I'm like, which, how am I going to get it all done? Let's know. That's not what I think. I'm like, what is the next most aligned step that I can take right now? Now it might seem like illogical <laughs> to do this other thing when I'm like, I've got all these other things to do that seem more important. But when I listen to my intuition and I'm like, what is the next most aligned action that I take right now? And I go and do that thing, right? Discipline is number six divine step to awakening your life purpose. Disciplining the there's willingness to follow through with what you're being guided to do, but the discipline to carry that out, right? Of what spirit your intuition is guiding you to do. So being able to um, discipline and do the thing that you're being guided to do, not what you think 
think you should be doing, <laughs> you'll find that as you do this, then this one naturally evolves and then this, and then all of a sudden this got done by doing this thing. And you're like, whoa, how did that happen? Right? And so the next most aligned action is going to help you right now. And um, I also feel like there's a, and it's interesting because the overlying card for you is total submersion. It's like, yes, now's the time to push everything aside, Daryl, and really just do the next thing, do the next thing, do the next thing, do the next thing. Like it's almost like, don't even worry about your to-do list. It's kind of like the way that you're going to be able to move forward is just do the next thing. Now, if you're not feeling overwhelmed and you're feeling a little bit slowy um, because you just, you just, I want to say you're too far down in the receiving in a way. I don't know if it's the right words, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? You're too far down in the, in the depths, like you've been good at receiving and now you're like, how do I come back to earth? How do I come back to doing my things and not step into those old patterns, which is what the eclipse is all about, right? Transforming the patterns and embodying a different frequency with the whale coming up a lot. I'm embodying the light frequency here. And so when, how you do that is you do the next thing that you're being guided to do one step at a time. What is the next most aligned action that I can take right now? And you do, and you follow that and you follow that and you follow that and you follow that. You'll find by the end of the day, you've done what you really need to do in alignment for your soul and your life purpose. And you'll be able to sleep better. <laughs> so Daryl, just do the next thing. And if you're not feeling overwhelmed, as I said, and you've just, you don't know how to come back and you're in sloth receiving mode, nothing wrong with that. Um, then it's kind of like if you just accomplish the next thing, just accomplish the one thing that you ask that question and your intuition guides you to do, just accomplish that one thing and you'll start to feel the momentum start to build and then every day you'll be doing more and you'll be doing more and you'll be doing more. But it's a productive more. It's a soul synchronistic more that leads you in the direction of where you really want to go. Yeah, cool. All right, so I'll have another round of yes pleases. That was for Daryl. Okay, so just type in yes, please. If this is your first time here, how I work my psychic readings is I ask for a round of yes, pleases like now. And so I'll have a list of yes, pleases come up and then I'll intuitively choose from that list and I pick somebody, I read for somebody and then I close off that and then we have another round of yes, pleases. So just pop it in once on each round, right? I see your comments, I see you there and I intuitively choose who this is for. Okay. <laughs> You're so very welcome, Daryl. So welcome. Okay, so I'm just grabbing this deck. It's jumping out at me here. <laughs> okay. Always resonates, yes. And I've got my psychic readings open as well. So if you'd like to book a private psychic reading, there's two options. There's just me audio recording it and emailing it off to you, or we can get onto a phone or video call. So just comment psychic below if you'd like the details for a private reading to book that. Okay, who is this for? Okay. This left list. List of yes pleases. List of yes pleases. Okay. okay, so Jennifer Blackham, are you still here? So I just ask if people are still here before I read. Just you know, some people, some people say yes and jump off. <laughs> it's not fair to everyone else. Not so much anymore, but. Just want to check. So Jennifer Blackham, just checking that you're here. Jennifer, awesome. Okay, so the first card I pulled for you is love where you are. It's been a little bit of a windy path and I feel like you're finally coming into the center of where you're meant to be. Even if it's not where you want to be, you're like learning to love where you are <laughs> um, because you know if you keep moving forward or trying to accomplish whatever you want to accomplish and you're not loving where you are, you're going to hate where you're going to be, where you're moving towards as well. And I feel like you've really learned and understood that and you've really sort of arrived in a place where you're like, I love where I am. Like you've caught up to where you are. 
Now what's interesting is you've got listen, and then you've got the ocean, and then you have entrepreneur, and then when I finish shuffling, you have a life purpose. <laughs> The chaos that you have been going through is because your life purpose is awakening. How many times do you guys hear me say that? <laughs> for real though, for you, because you've got life purpose and entrepreneur. Now, um, the part about the ocean is I was like, oh my goodness, where is it? The ocean for you? I was like, well, of course, you need to spend more time near the ocean. That's the plain and simple message for this card, right? Deeper than that, I feel like for you, life has been up and down, 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 round and round, up and down, up and down. You're like, oh my God, am I going to be able to have a breath? Oh my God, what? I can't and I can't anymore. Let's go. And all of a sudden, the current has just taken you. And I'm like, good, <laughs> good. <laughs> when we let go and surrender, it's called a drift. And the ocean takes you exactly where you need to go to wind up on the shore of your purpose and bringing that to earth. That is not an easy task to let go to that level and extent that you have and you've been asked to and that you are continuing to let go for. Um, but it's kind of like this up and down motion. It's just like, oh, I just can't anymore. This... Some days it's like this beautiful car motion. Other days it's this turbulent friggin' tsunami. And you're just like, I don't know how to do this. And it's because I want to say there's so many aspects to this because um, you're coming out of a dark cave. You're lighting the flame, but then it's like you flick back into here. And I want to say continue to light the flame. And the big part about the entrepreneur is the sacral chakra and it's orange. And this is where you're nourished by your soul. If you feel like the tsunami is coming again, the fastest way to calm that is to come back to your soul. What does your soul want to do? Like a bit like what I was just saying before, like what is the next most aligned action that I can take right now? Your question is, your mantra is, what does my soul want to do right now? What is my soul calling me to do right now? Because that is going to be the answer that's going to like just keep you on path. Um, because in the past, you've got the listen card. And this is where I feel like you have been. You have been. But it's just like this and this and this and I can't. I'm just like, oh my God, is this going to stop? And all you've been doing is this and just letting yourself drift. And in the ocean is the heart. You're being asked to follow your heart. You're being asked to take that leap of faith. You're being asked to jump into the ocean of your heart. Because this is what is it, it's all about for you. It's kind of like you cannot, the more you disassociate, distract and try and put off your purpose, this is going to happen. Get around. <laughs> the more you focus on this, the calmer and faster everything's going to manifest that you've been asking for. Really strong, really clear message for you. You're welcome. <laughs> yep. I'll have another round of yes pleases, please. Donna says, I feel this resonates. Yeah, that was really strong. See, ground yourself. What's the next most important thing to do? What's the next most aligned action? And what does my soul want to do? It might seem irrelevant. And remember, the eclipse is helping us bust forth and break through this next like portal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Another round of yes, pleases, please got them here. And, um, I've got my private psychic readings open. If you'd like to book a private psychic reading, um, there's two options for me to record it and email it off to you or to get on a phone or video call with me. I know some people just like the email ones, and some people like to get on the phone. So there's both options there available. And also I've, um, are you sitting on the earth? Of course you are. <laughs> Love it. Um, there's my three month psychic acceleration and healing 
program, which is three months working with me over Telegram, voice message, text message daily, ask me any questions, there's deep intuitive healing. We can work on your intuitive business, we can work on your purpose, we can work on healing generational trauma, we can work on whatever's gonna shift you to be able to ignite you back to your path, to take you from lost and recalibrating to purposeful future forward movement, to have that direction again, to understand what your next layer is, to shift you where you're meant to go. So just comment three months if you like details for that. You should charge five and a half grand for that um, at the moment um, on the whim of intuition. Um, it's 9.97, so just comment uh, three months below if you'd like that. And just pop in your yes please once. Nobody likes spam. When you're constantly popping it in, that's spam. Nobody likes spam. And I definitely won't choose you <laughs> once I put it in. <laughs> so just once is fine. I see all your comments. It's all that needs to be there. So Life Purpose Accelerator. Speaking of Life Purpose, <laughs> I just shuffled again and that ended up being at the bottom of the card again. <laughs> oh my God, you guys saw me shuffling that, right? And the heart, it's like the heart. And it's 11.11. I see 11.11. Um, <laughs> so Life Purpose Accelerator is open. It is my 12 months mentoring, working with me, but you also get access, inner circle access. So all of the um, courses, so Trust and Intuition, Life Purpose Legacy, any course that you see me release, any meditation, um, working with me one-on-one, so in the Telegram space, but we also get the Reality Reconfiguration calls. We've got 30-minute or one-hour calls, psychic readings, distance healings, just whatever it is that is required for you with your purpose is required in the space. I work very intuitively. They're customized packages because every person, situation, and life purpose is very unique and different. And this is where the intuition comes in about supporting you to your highest capacity. So Life Purpose Accelerator is 12 months. Um, it's open now, just comment Accelerator if you feel this call, because it's sort of like the response that I get from people is like, I, I didn't, didn't really know what I was going to do in it, but it called my soul. Like, and it is a soul calling thing of when it's time to step into the inner circle, into Life Pups Accelerator. So just comment Accelerator below if you can feel that this is resonating for you. Yes. All good, Belinda. We learn. <laughs> we learn. It's okay. Okay. So who is this reading for? <laughs> I can't believe I shoveled and it was like life purpose and heart. <laughs> the calling of the heart. See, it's like just following your heart. You just know, you just got a feeling. <laughs> okay. So these, yes, pleases. Okay, so Tanya Fletcher. Is Tanya still here? Rewild has come up. See, it's the rewilding back to your heart. <laughs> your heart and your purpose. It's going to say the snake. So on the back of these herbal cards, is um, you can see animals and stuff in the right. And I thought that this was a snake, but I actually see it's like a lizard. Little ratty here and crystals and stuff. Um, I thought it was a snake. So... Tanya's here. So I thought it was a snake. It's a lizard. Lizard is really connected to the third eye, to soda light and the liquid crystals, and that's a new vision. Seeing a new vision for yourself, seeing a new path, um, very connected to relationships and relationship healing. The snake, on the other hand, is about seeing the truth in relationships and then making a choice to walk on a new path. Now, I feel that that is what has happened for you recently. You've had a lot of like mind-blowing like realizations and you're just like I don't know how much more I can receive <laughs> like Daryl's um reading right but I just feel like it's just been like realization after realization after realization you're just like whoa can I just hang on a minute here <laughs> and you've got the rewilding rewild card that come has come out underneath that deck you have we are one and it's the beautiful like connection underneath and this is where I feel like you've got a new perspective of the relationships around you and it's taking root in the subconscious about the direction that you really want to go with these relationships. I'm holding this up because of the little Lizzie's there. 
little Lizzie's. Um, <laughs> but it's given you that new perspective that has allowed you to ground down into a whole new perspective shift, which is, I want to say, it feels like it's rocking your reality. And I want to say, just, just take a breather. Um, I want to say like, don't, it's like, don't make any forced or hurried decisions. Oh, covered in goosebumps. Um, it's almost like these roots, huh, this needs to take root. Not in a bad way, not out of fear, just like it's almost like honoring the level of mind-blowing shifts that you've had to fully take root. Not that it won't, it's not out of fear, it's just like 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 honoring it or something, you know, it's like it's like honoring this reconnection after all this time. Um, this could be for yourself, of course, but also in a relationship. I don't know, I'm getting something about a relationship. And it's interesting because the card underneath that, the raspberry, is about creating space. So it's like, yeah, just like, it's like honor it with the space that it deserves in essence of like the level of depth of shifts that it has created from what you've been realizing and working on. Does that make sense? Um, it feels really deep with that. And it's like the remembrance, it's kind of like, yeah, because you're remembering the truth about the situation. So let it take root so that with the space, so the re, cause the rewilding is taking place. It's like the re rerouting right down to the solidified space to be able to take root and take flight on a different way. Right. Be able to take flight, be able to take flight with space, meaning like a healthy space. Yeah, like the, the roots, the shit's being dug out and now the roots are rekindling in a healthy way. Yeah. And that is giving you the abundance that you've so been um, desiring, um, deserve. But it's kind of like that's why all the rewilding has happened because that's what you've been working on is your abundance, is a new life, is a healthier life, right? Self-acceptance self and that's a healthier life. Oops. It's a little nude person, little nude angel. Hope I don't get, <laughs> forget. Um, Archangel Michael has been supporting you through this because your purpose has been the catalyst for this shift and change to remember who you are, to take root, to take flight, to re, to re um, calibrate how you perceive relationships, which you've been taking a lot of space. And also the raspberry is very deep in mother healing as well. So we learn, um, like, well, I don't know what percentage of patterns before we're seven years old, right? But I'm really getting that there's been a lot of mother healing going on and that's been the real deep rooting, re-rooting re, re as well. Like you've dug out all the old roots of what you absorbed as a child um, and now you're, you're in a better grounded place. And so it's like, this is where everything's taking flight and where the abundance comes in because you've rewilded yourself. <laughs> Does that make sense? You've re rerouted yourself <laughs> in a healthier version of you. And I want to say on the path that you're meant to be on, not a convoluted generational trauma creation. That's pretty big. So I want to say like, just honor the space, like give it, do you know what I mean? When I say that, it's, I don't know how to explain it any other way than that. It's kind of like what you've done is huge. So honor that within yourself as well, like of what you've done to get here. Does that make sense? Covered in goosebumps. It feels really strong for you. Like acknowledge how fucking far you've come and grown. Oh my God, I'm covered in goosebumps. Huge. Okay, that was for you, uh, Tanya. And so now I have another round of yes pleases, please. See, there's new love that's come up. <laughs> I was just shuffling under that is balance because now that the healthy love remember I just said like you rerouted the, the healthy grounded roots now yeah and the balance remember in the um, beginning reading guys I did the crane came out and so here's another balance card in that sort of uh, I want to say redirection of purpose there's been um there was a big recalibration of purposes at the last eclipse actually on a human trajectory level of where we're going as a as human collective, everything shifted. It was a bit like a whoop, this way. <laughs> Everyone's like, whoa, everyone went, whoa. And everyone's still recolor, like finding the ground from that, right? This kind of the roots analogy, um, kind of quite big 
really connected to the collective too, but that was specifically for Tanya as well. <laughs> okay. All right, so. Who is this next round for? And what cards are calling? The Archangels, of course. Okay. So who is this round of Yes Pleases for? Who's this <laughs> round of yes pleases? Who is the next yes please? Like contestant? No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm starting to get really hungry. I just realized. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is Bianca Suzanne still here? Bianca Suzanne. So hello to those joining live right now. I see you, hello. Okay. Bianca, okay, awesome. So I pulled sensitivity. You are sensitive. So if you're going a bit cray cray, <laughs> maybe you're hungry. <laughs> no, um, check environmental factors. So of course, of course, like the eclipse, um, major solar flares going on, which is going to like really like grate us up. Um, it's, it's like almost burns our etheric body in a way. So really like, you know, pulling on the sensitivity stuff, like if stuff's been knocking you or you just haven't been right, like yes, eclipses, yes, solar flares. But when I first saw this card for you, I'm like, there is something in your immediate physical environment that is affecting like your sensitivity. So like if you're feeling more on edge or more agitated or more anxiety or like, do you know what I mean? It could be something you're ingesting food wise, etc. but also just something in your physical environment is agitating your sensitivities. Does that make sense? There's something physically going on. Um, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now on yourself and your feelings. So, you know, as I said, like this is very much around um, like, you know, energies and stuff. But when I first saw this card, there's something physically going on for you. So this could be a relationship as well because um, this is take back your power. Yeah. So take back your power. Um, Archangel Raziel, it's kind of like you're really sensitive. And so you know what's not right for you and it's time for you to do something about it. Um, and then you've got gentleness. Yeah, because it's kind of like staying in that environment isn't supporting you. And so it's time to take action. Um, if you've tried, try again. Um, and then you've got the gentleness card. Um, it's kind of like, and can you just be gentle with yourself? Yeah. Um, my parents house settles next week. So you're very emotional. Yeah. Okay. That's huge. <laughs> um, uh, both deceased. Oh, that's huge. So it's like a huge anchor shift. No wonder I was getting like physical. I'm like physical in your house. Okay. <laughs> Um, so there's just a couple, there's more information, um, but Jennifer's just asking what cards I was using. <laughs> I think I was using these. Um, Daily Guidance from Your Angels, which is this one. This is what I was using, wasn't it? Sorry guys, I'm really hungry, so <laughs> I should know, but I've got all these decks open. This one, oh yeah, with the beautiful um, lizard, lizard, little, little Lizzie's. Um, sorry, it's how I say to my cats, I'm like, the Lizzie up there. So the Herber Herberary Oracle cards, so beautiful. I really love this deck. It's got such a beautiful vibe. And what else was I using? Was I using this one? I know I was using this one at some point. So this is the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle as well. Oh yeah, and I think I was using, actually I was using this one, wasn't I? The beautiful... Um, Angel Oracle. <laughs> I will make sure I have more food before I come live next week. <laughs> Healing with the Angels Oracle, which is this one here, the Divine Guidance. I think they're the ones I was using. And this one that I'm using right now is the Archangels, of course. Pretty old decks, but oldies but goodies. Okay, so Bianca, your parents, 
no wonder the physical stuff and this is where I was like yeah the relationship but it's time to take your power back and so when we're looking at um, like your parents and both deceased and it settles it's kind of like yeah it's almost like you know sort of like this like this big big change of course right and relationship stuff I was getting there um, gentleness so this is like giving you a full direction shift this is it's like taking back your power in essence of like once it's it's done it's like your life can start your life can start this next chapter your life now moves forward obviously without them right and so take back your power um in essence of like it's interesting because the bottom card of the deck is the leadership card and the leadership card is really um like gabrielle it's time for you to assume your leadership power and lovingly guide others so you've been uh, it feels like you've been waiting for this for quite some time is it um or it's just been dragging on or it could feel like it's dragging on just because of the nature of it um and it's kind of like you've got two really strong cards here showing up for you that um this is not what it is okay but i need to say this it's almost like stop moping around stop stop worrying about it stop moping around and i'm wondering if that's like either one of your parents coming through because i wouldn't say that's someone who's in grief okay i would say just get over it get on with it but i'm like hearing like stop moping around it's just just go and just get on with it like you know and i'm wondering like i said is that something that one of your parents would say because that's not what i would say to someone who's in grief i would say take as much time as you need to um heal from this especially when it's fresh what have i always say when it's fresh grieve um you know like grief yeah yep that's them yep okay cool because i i wouldn't <laughs> that's not me and i'm like okay just get on with it like come on like and this is where this is coming in it's sort of like if we look at gabrielle and Razio is a male and female on the card in a way. It's kind of like, yeah, okay, all right, you can get on with it now. Like, you know, it's like, and I want to say also take their advice with that. It's been two years, but my clause on that is if you haven't let yourself properly grieve about it, you need to do that because otherwise you're only going to hold them here on the earth plane and also you're going to create illness eventually for yourself and you're never going to be able to truly move forward um, whilst that energetically is still like there. Now, the reason a lot of people don't grieve hard is because it's scary to grieve hard. A lot of people think that, oh, but if I grieve them, then um, they'll like, then I won't have any connection to them. They'll be gone. Um, and it's not actually true. What actually happens is the relationship becomes healthier and you have a stronger, clearer connection with them because the grief isn't in the way. Does that make sense? The grief is like a big block, a big brick wall in between your intuitive communication with them right now. Um, and so if you were to, or oh, kind of goosebumps to say that, truth bumps. Um, so allowing yourself this time to grieve, okay. Oh, really covered in goosebumps to say that. I haven't gone away, so strong waves um uh when you let yourself grieve you actually have a clearer intuitive communication relationship with them um and you can learn and understand that the like it's like you're um you're relearning how to have a relationship with them now they're in the spirit world um and and by letting yourself grieve that communication becomes clearer but it's like a brick wall or a brick, like a huge block, big cloak in between you and them. Does that make sense? Um, so this taking back your power, letting yourself grieve and just get on with it. Okay, time to get on with it now. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, as I said, that that's not me. That's not what I'd say to someone who's grieving, but that's them coming through um, as you confirmed. So yeah, leadership, you can see the big wings, right? It's like, okay. Time to, time to spread your wings, time to spread your wings. They want you to spread your wings. Um, but yeah, so, um, but take all the time you need. Oh, look, underneath that leadership is the crystal clear intentions. And that's what I was saying. Like once you grieve this, um, once you grieve the heart, green for the heart, Archangel Center for helping you grieve, um, it becomes crystal clear. So you have actually a clearer relationship with them, like communication, yeah? Um, thanks with my hair. <laughs> My daughter was like, your, your hair looks better, not straight all the time, mom. And I was like, okay, I'll start to play around with this. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so Bianca says, totally understand. Once all the legality is done, I think it will just come out. Yeah, and that's the thing, you know, that stuff is like a big brick wall in itself, big 
um, barricade if you may and once that's done yeah this like then the freedom comes into definitely easier to grieve and let go once that cycle is complete um, as well so yes 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 um, and I was just gonna say then too so something that you can do is um, and maybe you've already done it and technically it's what funerals are for but in our Western society we don't we're just expected to get on with it again right <laughs> as they're saying but that's like the generational society training but for actual healing it's not like you know if we look at the um, eastern cultures they still grieve for a month weeks more you know like it's traditional in their culture too and um whereas we're just expected to go back to work next week you know so um it's so what i was going to suggest is you you could do it now or once the legalities and that section's closed and complete and um, you could do your own um, ceremony again um, you could do it by yourself or you could do it with family or whatever you wanted to do um, to really sort of complete this off and really allow that grieving time um, you could have like a fire ceremony or just um, I don't know buy flowers and light release the petals into the ocean or like you know just just something as I said whether it's with family or just with yourself just to help like grieving and it's like also just um, honoring another cycle closed and complete yeah um, almost like a, a rite of passage in, in a way, you know, these sorts of rituals are really important for grieving, for letting go, for completing cycles and for actually allowing ourselves to move on. It's like giving ourselves permission to move on, you know? Um, so yeah, lots of really strong ways of goosebumps still now as I'm talking to you. So really strong message um, for you there, Bianca. Yes. Oh my God. I, <laughs> I shoveled this deck. Look what the hell is underneath this. Oh my God. Oh, okay. If you didn't get the message, that big bang was like, hello. <laughs> okay, that's a really strong message. Like, yeah. Um, <laughs> if you wanted to book a psychic, private psychic reading, like um, maybe there's more messages that they want to channel through. I don't know, but that was really strong. And then that big bang, I don't even know. I can't even think what that was. So my cats must have knocked something off. I don't know if you heard that bang. <laughs> it scared me. But this was like underneath the deck as well. It was a bit like the other week when Archangel Michael came out from three different decks. I'm like, this shit blows my mind like every day. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was um, full on. Archangel Azrael is the archangel that helps your heart to heal. Um, helps with grief from the people who left here and also helps with um, them crossing over to the other side. Um, so you, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Um, let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Sorry, that's just blowing my mind. <laughs> Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was for Bianca. Um, okay. So if you guys would like to book a private psychic reading, I've opened up my psychic readings. There's two options. Um, one is just an email reading that I record and I send it off to you. And the other is where you can get on the phone with me or a video call. Um, and we can have that sort of live interaction. Um, I know some people just like the um, email readings and some people like to get on the phone so there is those options available just comment psychic below if you'd like the details for that and also I opened up on a whim of intuition and in true Hannah trusting her intuition style I have released my three-month psychic acceleration and healing program it's usually five and a half grand and I have released it for 997 this is where you work with me for three months in telegram we do psychic readings um, back and forth, text messages, voice messages, there's healings, there's um, whatever, whatever you want to work on, whether it's a psychic development, um, releasing relationship, karma, karma drama, um, you know, generational patterning, understanding and finding your purpose, inner child healing, like whatever it is that is you, you're specifically needing. I work intuitively in this space. So it's like whatever comes up. And a lot of people that come to work with me don't really, some people are like, yeah, I need to work on this. And other people are just like, I just know I need to work on, work with you. <laughs> and we dive in and so much shifts and surfaces that you can't even imagine. So if you know that you would like the details for my three months program, just comment three months below. Or if the inner circle is where you're always the VIP into and you know that you're an all person, I need everything. Let me be in all the spaces. Let me be in all the things let me have all the courses let me have all the hannah <laughs> right because we get a lot more interaction in the 12 month life ups accelerator doors are open for that now so just comment accelerator below if you like the details for that and you know that you're born for more that you're here for a reason even if you're not sure what that is but you know you have a gift and a purpose of some sort and you can't put that off anymore life ups accelerator would be the place for you 
Okay, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go and have some lunch <laughs> and I shall see you guys very soon and next week um, for our weekly readings. So thank you very much for being here right to the very end. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful week and be mindful of the eclipse and I'll see you at the full moon ceremony for those of you who are going to join us there. I love you.